Hi, good morning. My name is Simbelijah Charles K. Again, let me just start this conversation like we do our Mondays on a very high note. I want to ask you one question. Let's go back to KCSE days when you just graduated and, or, or got your results for KCSE. I'll ask you one question. What did you really think or aspire to be? I, for one, I was there, I wanted to be a journalist, so thank God. But I have friends of mine who wanted to be pilots. But right now, they're totally very far from where they're supposed to be. I'll share that joke after I introduce the guests that we have in the studio this morning. Now, most people after high school struggle to choose a career or profession they can be in. There are those who outrightly know what they want to do and go for it. Now, today, we discuss how best you can choose a career. And in the studio, there's not a strange face, but joined by James Muir, a human resource specialist, career coach, and LinkedIn expert. James, happy to see you. Happy to see you again. Thank you very much. I will, I will start by asking you the same, same question because it was a very yes. funny conversation. Yes. Let me take you back to when you were in high school. You yes. just graduated. Yes. And I, I remember how your sessions were. You had to go to the University of Nairobi, sit down and select your courses and hopefully uh, wait and see exactly whether you want to qualify for them. What do you want to be when you were young? I wanted to be a doctor when I was young. <laughs> just, like, just like any other uh, young kid there, little kid there. The traditional courses that, yeah. tra that, that our parents knew. Yeah. Those, are the, those are the courses that they passed to us. That is medicine, law, engineering. Can be a pilot, you're not going to be an yes. engineer. And we don't blame them because those are the courses that were there when they were in school. Yes. But now the dynamics have changed. Um, uh, when, when they were in school, when our parents were in school, they used to go do those courses and they used to be picked from school even before they graduate That's and they it, could man. get jobs. This date is different. We have engineers who are bankers. You know that? We have doctors who are running NGOs. They are not treating patients. Yes. Yeah. The dynamics have changed. We have lawyers who are politicians. They've never stepped in court. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and we have engineers who are drivers on the road. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, James. I will start like this. A career. Let's define a career first because then... I'm also, I also want to take that lesson. Let's define a career. What is a career? What, what, what is the understanding of a career? I should, not, I should ask like that. A career is, a, is, is the wrong term, is what you want to be in long term. Eh? Yes. It is, it's a set of jobs that you will uh, have within a, a specific period of time that will define your career. For example, if you want to be in finance, you can start as a, an account assistant and finally become the director of finance. Now your career is finance, but now you started your job as an account assistant or an intern. Yes. Then you climb all the way to finance director. Yes. And uh, fi from finance director, some become CEO, some become company presidents. Yeah. And uh, that's how uh, a career is defined. That's a career path. Pretty much. Yeah. How do you go about, because let's help somebody who's listening to you today, yes. and, and, and we do know that those kids have just graduated, they are somewhere in university right now, we're just studying for the sake of it, man. Yes. And well, I will end up somewhere, either yes. way. Yes. How do you go about defining your career and, and saying that this is exactly where I want to end up at? First, you need to accept the results that you got for you in your KCSE. You start from there. But, uh, is somebody going to fight you and say, well, you're talking to us about a career and you're attaching that to results? You, you have to start from there. <laughs> you have to start you saying, from accepting you, your results. Uh, if you're in Kenya, that is. Yeah. <laughs> you have to start from accepting your results. Even if yes. you're out of country, <laughs> you need to start by accepting your results. Yeah. What about those motivational speakers who come in and say, well, I started from just a, a certificate and then I went all the way up. I will come there. That's why okay. I have said that why we need to start by accepting That's why. you are great, yes. you are results, just the way they are. Yes. It's very important for both the parent and the, and the, and, and the child. Yes. And now who is going to join the university uh, for, to, to pursue her career. Yes. Because now, uh, when you accept, you are able to have a right attitude towards life. Because if you have a bad attitude, a, a, a bad attitude is like a, a vehicle without wheels. It can't move. So you'll be stuck there with your bad with your bad grade according to you. 
and uh, your 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 friends who graduated the same uh, um, um, high school with they for continue with the life. So you need to have the right attitude. Because if you have the wrong attitude now, that's when you hear, you see girls getting married at a very young age, 18 years. Yes. Uh, men, uh, instead of now going to further their education, they started um, very, uh, very demeaning jobs out there. And they can be able to do something with their grades. Doesn't matter whether, whether you got your D. Yes. You can start all the way from a certificate all the way to PhD level. I have seen it. What is it? It's called career acceleration. You can start away from a, a certificate, diploma, bachelor's, PhD, and it, is, and it would take you, it is not such a, a long career path as people may think. A certificate take, takes between three months to one year. Like now they are at home, the uh, um, universities are taking in, and the colleges are taking in uh, um, uh, students. By December, you are done with your three months. All six months. By January, you, you go to your diploma. You take one year or two years depending on the course you are doing. In three years, you have you're finished your diploma. By, by the time your friends you are high school with, they are finishing the, um, the four-year university degree, you are now going to your degree program. Yes. Yeah. It's just having the positive, light, light attitude towards life. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. It's a very tough question though. Now I've accepted my results and then there's this disconnect into what you wanted to be and what you are. And I would like to think that if you knew exactly what you're gonna be or when you're gonna end up, then you will turn out better. Like you would have a sense of direction as opposed to let's go with the wave, I'll sure. see exactly where I end up. Sure. How do you, in your formative stage of education, you've, you've got your KCSE results, you've got your class 8 results, and you're sort of thinking that where do I actually end up? How do you start identifying the right career path for yourself? Very good question. Yes. You start by self-assessment. Self-assessment, you take, you imagine yourself in the next coming 20 years, yes. which career do you want to have um, uh, grown uh, up the randa? Yes. So you take stock of your skills, your talents and your inter inter intellectual capacity. You don't want now to, to say that you want to become a doctor and you got a, a D minus. <laughs> you know, some courses are regulated by the government. Some, yes. uh, 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 medicine and some engineering courses and law are some of the courses that are regulated that you must have a certain cut of grade. Yes. But then with your, with your D, you can be able to uh, go up the ladder as I have explained. So after you do your self assessment, and a long term, uh, you, you visualize yourself in 20 years to come, then you can go to the next step. The next step is now you list the 20 career choices you have ever wanted to be, 20 of them. Then start ticking according to how you have assessed yourself. Which one can you do? Start ticking, start ticking. You, now you move on to the next step of looking at your grade. Can your grade allow you to do this course? Mm -hmm. Can you agree that I want to you to do this course? Yes. Then from there, you go now to the next step of, of looking at the current at the job opportunities that are there in the market, not just in Kenya, but globally. Because there are some courses that are that are recognized in Kenya, but when you go out there, you need to do uh, uh, um, an additional course, you need to do, um, or they are not even recognized. A good example. If you are not in Kenya and you go to America, you just be required to do um, uh, the exam and you are become a qualified nurse in America or, or in Europe. Yes. The same with the doctor. But for clinical officer, when you go to US and, and, uh, and, uh, and UK, they are not recognized. So probably you need to think if you want to work in Kenya, if you want to move out of, of Kenya one day or to go and work out there, so you need to do a lot of research on the on the on the type of career you want to pursue do a lot of research and visualize your career a long term 15 20 years yes. from today yes yeah all right so does that mean therefore that, that there's this important aspect that you might know by yourself on exactly what is in the market that you need a career coach to help you understand yourself better Yes. You might ask me one question that might change the way that I view life and, mm. and, and myself. Mm. Is that what you need from your formative age? 
career coaching career guidance needs to start from very early age. Yes. Right from the, 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 the toddler stage. Yes. You know, there are some kids that uh, they, when they encounter any gadget, they start dismantling it up. It is it, uh, from every, every, every section that uh, that gadget is, is, was connected, it is dismantled. Eh? So you start looking at this kid, is very inquisitive. Eh? Then you start looking at this, this kind of, this is like uh, an engineer in the making. Eh? Then there are those kids that are inquisitive, they are not patient. Then you start modeling those kids toward those careers that they, that, that can be able to figure out that they, uh, they can be able to pursue in, the, in, in life. When you come to high school, career choices start at a very, at a very early stages. You start yes. choosing subjects in form two and form, and form one. For example, you can find in some girls' schools, as I, as I, have, 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 have found, um, I have done my research, yes. there are some girls' schools that uh, they are uh, encouraged not to pursue science courses. Eh? You find that the whole class did not do physics. That means <laughs> yes. we do not have any engineer in that class. Yes. Yeah. So it's very important to start uh, pursuing these career goals from a very early stages, from high school, from uh, from being a kid, so that we can start now modeling your career towards what you to, towards your capabilities, towards in, your intellectual capacities. Then from there, now we can be able to say now this one we have defined the career path towards what you want to become in the future. Yes. Yeah. Some people will tell you that I've gone to school. Yes, I've studied. Yes, but then I feel like my passion. And, and my talent should be exactly what should define my career choice. Yes. Are those people lucky or they should think twice before going in that direction? Well, uh, there, there are some, there are passion, passion, passion can give you a career. Yes, it can give you a career. Some, some people can be given a career by the passion. <laughs> That's fine. But it's not all about passion. Yes. It is actually even grabbing the opportunities that are there in the market. Yes. For example, we are in technology revolution, and there are also opportunities in the technology world. For example, in the ICT now, people should look more beyond the computer science, uh, beyond the IT. We have now got, we have got now uh, a very a very job that are high demand in ICT like data science, robotics engineering. Now you start grabbing those opportunities uh, so that now you can you can be able now to. Have an hour, a now uh, uh, grab the opportunities that are there in the in the in the job in the in the in the current career world, so that you can be able. It is not competitive. Yes, and you be able to have a very nice career path. So now, let's talk to that person who, who've realized that. Well, I need to change my career as well. You know, it happens. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it happens. Passion sometimes gets to a level you say, oh, maybe it's died off. Talent can get to a level you say, well. Doctors change their careers and say, yes. how do you begin that change process then? Because some of us might be there watching today in the morning and saying, is it too late to change a career? And there are so many. There's so many uh, of uh, us, uh, isn't uh, it? According, according to statistics, 60% <laughs> of graduates, wow. Wow. they are not doing what they started in campus. Wow. 60%. Yeah. That's yeah. a very huge number. Yes. This is because um, when you are selecting courses, you are pressed by computer in the university, a course that you did not choose. Is a name. Now you, you got a name, Matthew, yeah. got a name, so he yeah, yeah. Then, you are a then you are pressed in, uh, as, a, as a medical doctor. <laughs> yeah. But now when you, you, you can't start the, the sight of a brad or even the smell of a brad, you see? <laughs> so, uh, so it's very important now uh, if you want now to change your career from, uh, let's say, an engineer, or oh, then to an administrator, like from a doctor to, a, to an administrator. Yes. Uh, um, doctors are now running NGOs as managers. It's good now to look at your transferable skills. Eh? Yes. Because employers are looking um, at the employability skills, at emotional intelligence. And these are a set of skills like, um, these are a set of skills like um, uh, team, uh, team building, uh, communication skills, um, personal relationship, uh, customer relations, um, stake, stakeholder management, those are the, the skills that now will help you to transform into the next career that you want to go. You may require now to go back to class to do some certain certifications that will help you now uh, pursue whatever you want uh, to pursue as a career. Pretty much. Yeah. Another question that is, you're going to make, uh, James, which is really very important, yeah. is learning what is in the market. Are there some careers that they look promising on paper, but on the ground, 
have no, they're not, they're not sellable. There are so many, there are so many careers that are not sellable as they are being offered in our universities. Is, is that is that where the disconnect begins? There is that, a very huge disconnect. That even what you're going to study in university, you gotta start thinking about it early enough. There is a very huge disconnect between what employers want and what is being offered in our in our universities and colleges. What do employers really want? Employers, you see, uh, uh, employers they want um, someone who can add value. Yes. To their business, yes. But now, the, 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 what we, we have are graduates who have just have grades, but they don't know what to do with them, because uh, some of these things are not taught in, in in the universities. That's why you find companies that have to to train as management trainees, have to train uh, graduates as uh, internship, yes. Have to train graduates for, for like one year before it gets uh, into the uh, culture and the, to the business of the company. Yes. So they. We need to do a lot of um, career guidance and, um, and, and to change the curriculum. I'm happy it has changed to, uh, to, uh, to CBC. I, it, it, that's one of the reasons why we have changed so that we can look at what the job market wants and the talent, then we can be able to match the skills that are, that, that, that are there, the, the jobs that are there and the expertise that the universities and colleges are going to produce. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to ask you this a direct one because I want to I want to get that career conversation well done and dusted this morning. Yeah. Side hustle, yeah, that mm -hmm. supports your main hustle. Mm -hmm. At what point do you say <clears throat> my career change now is going to go to my side hustle? And I got this question as well. Mm -hmm. Your side hustle mm -hmm. must it be in line with your main hustle? So that you know how to go about it and at what point do you say now this i've changed the hustle now this is my career now it's very interesting that millennials nowadays almost everyone have got a side hustle which is good isn't it yeah it's very good <laughs> <laughs> and and i i keep on telling um employers when i am I'm assisting in recruitment eh? yes if you are going to deny um a millennial job because they have a side hustle then all of them are having a side hustle. Some, some have just lied to you. Yes. In fact, you should be very worried of a millennial who is not having a side hustle. Who comes and tells you this is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, that's you it. should be very worried. Yes. Either he's not a proactive person, he just uh, is somebody who needs to be pushed around. Yes. But somebody who is having a side hustle, that is, it's not to be a worry because now this person who have a self-drive and can be able to perform. As long as he performs the task that you have given them in the workplace, then there's no problem with them having a side hustle. So, asking to a question. Yes. It does it have to be in line with whatever you are doing? Mm -hmm. This is why you take stock of the experience you have and your passion. And now if, if you want now to move into the business world or you want to move now up, up the career ender. Because now if you want to move now into uh, self-employment or entrepreneurship, now you start taking stock of the skills you have if, if they can be able to give you more money than what you are earning. Yes. If that can happen and you can be able to, uh, to, to grow yourself slowly, then you, you, you can be able to pursue whatever you are. And if you're an accountant and you want to, you want to set up a, a farm, or if you're a lawyer, you want to set up, just to set up a law farm, then you, 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 the skills you have that you are currently using, you can be able to set up your, your law farm with. But there is another person who wants now to move completely from uh, law to doing business of importing and exporting. Probably he needs to do a, like an MBA yes. so that he can be able to understand the dynamics of doing business. Yes. Yeah. He may require some certain skills and uh, certifications for ad mentoring from somebody who have pursued the same kind of business that's it. for him to go through uh, to, to, to succeed that business. And that's if you really want to push this high side hustle that you think yes. is really yes. promising on the side, yes, isn't yes, it? Yes. Fantastic. Another thing is, when does it become a conflict there for gems? Because that is actually, you'll find it in, in most of the com companies' laws in the country, that your side hustle should not be in direct competition with yes. your employer. Yes. Am I running away with my clients if I do A, B, C, D? And how do you differentiate it correctly then? It, uh, um, it has in the, the, the market, the career market, and the, and the way you do a business has become very competitive. Yes. And competition is good. Nobody should fear competition. So if uh, actually employers should be very happy that they have, they have been able to build a professional who can be able to start on themselves and um, um, set up a company and employ those people who are jobless. Yes. So um, it only become a conflict of interest if you are 
spending your time more in your side hustle mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. where you're uh, employed. Yes. Now it becomes ethical issues. Eh? Yes. So, but if you're able to deliver according to your JD and the job you have been given in your in your company, and you're still running your side hustle, then there's no problem. But it becomes an issue if now you are not delivering on your uh, deliverables in the company and you're concentrating on your side hustle. Then you should design and concentrate, and on, concentrate your side on your side hustle, isn't it? All right, let's address then uh, this issue for training uh, in exactly knowing how to choose your career, yes. what you need to learn in choosing your career. Should somebody come to you now and start asking you this for this training what do they need to learn and how much are you going to ask them how long is it going to take for, for them to go through that course one, one one important thing that um the students should be able to know is that there is too much information out there yes for example the coops the, the body that is mandated to um to press students in the universities and the colleges they recently they they, they produced a, um, a career guidebook that can be able to guide you into subject combination. They can be able to uh, guide you into the cluster subject. Yes. They can be able to guide you if you did perform well in uh, according to your to your to your peers in high school. Probably you got a D minus or an E. It has it has detailed plan on the courses you can you can pursue, like certificate in uh, hot culture. Uh, we have a very huge gap in uh, in the agricultural uh, industry. You have a very huge gap. In that sector, and we are moving more now to agri-tech. Yes. A modern way of doing agriculture. Yes. So they can be. It has a way. It has a well elaborate uh, chapter on the careers that you can pursue if you are not able to. Uh, um, if you did perform well in school, like certificate in uh, irrigation, yes. uh, certificate in business, which now can and it goes ahead to tell you the institution that are offering these courses and where you can get these jobs. Mm -hmm. This that is that is one way of getting information. Yes. Now there are also um, uh, career courses uh, like um, like what we do. Who, who, who you can be able to come to us and after assessing your skills and the. Uh, your strength now you can be able to advise you on what is best for you in the industry yes so the package depends on an individual um, on, on on a person to person basis because uh, every person have got his own needs different needs so it is not um it's not like um a, a, a definite package that you can tell you is uh, how much you, we, we 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 can charge you we they can be able to follow us on an executive jobs hub uh, they can follow me also on um, all social media channels. That is James Watare. Yes. I, I can be able to give them more information. Pretty much. Yeah. Another question, uh, James, is, is the, the importance of this mentor, especially when you're trying to learn and then for a certain career path. I've seen a lot of people put emphasis on that. Could, could, you, could you tell me the importance of having a mentor? And who's this mentor? that I'm going to really look up to, uh, who's going to give me the direction. Mentors are very important in yes. life. This is because um, they have been through the path before. So the mistakes they did, they are going to advise you, you are not going to do the same mistakes. Yes. And that's, that's differentiated between a successful person and one that is not successful. Yes. Because now, uh, if, you are, if you want to um, pursue a career in law, they are able to tell you, as a lawyer, this is what I expected of you. So if you are not ready for this, please do not take law as, as a career. Yes. So if, if, you, if you want to become a doctor, a doctor is able to take you to theatre. And if you start to vomiting uh, as, uh, uh, when you see the sight of a patient, then that is not your career. So <laughs> mentors are very important because they are able to, uh, to, 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 to work with you. Yes. And able to, from the word go, and then they show you, the real job, yes. not theoretically, but now practically yes. on what you, you uh, the, the career entails. Now, from there now, you can be able to make a decision whether you are going to pursue this or not. If you know you decide you are going to pursue this now, now that's where you get the nitty gritties on the first step. What do you need to do? Yes. You need to go to school, which course do you need to take? From there, where do you get jobs? Uh, where do you... Oh, where do you... Uh, from there, which steps do you, do you, do you, do you go? Do you need certifications? Like if you want to do a C, uh, um, finance, you may need certification of uh, like CPA, ACCA, a secretary of courses for you to be able to become an expert in that field. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. So how do I pick my mentor? What qualities am I, am I looking for, James? You look for a mentor which you are compatible. First, you look at the career you after you're assessing yourself. Yes. And you know this is the career you want to pursue. Now look for mentors that you're compatible. I see. People who can be able to share information. Uh, 
at, at people who can you, you can never even call them for a coffee and they come up and you tell them you have an issue to want to discuss and they can be able to walk you through mm. somebody who is uh, who have the same set of um, values that you have yes somebody whom you can line somebody whom you can uh, ask any question and you can be able to answer but also uh, the, the one of the issues with the um, with the job seekers and students they go to mentors to ask for jobs <laughs> Instead of asking the right questions, <laughs> the right questions yeah. are how yes. did you achieve this? Yes. How did you move from point A to point B? Yes. Then from there, you yourself you can be able to uh, find out where can I get these jobs. The asking the right question is very important. Pretty much. Lastly, as we clear this conversation, uh, James, this morning, how much of a disconnect do you think is in the Kenyan market? on this career subject that we're talking about this morning. When, when you talk to majority of the people, do we have defined career paths in the country? And, 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 and that will give us a picture of the economy at large, as opposed to, uh, uh, on exactly where we are. Well, for a very long time, uh, students graduate and they don't have a, def a, a definite career path. Yes. That has been a very huge disconnect. And that's why you have so many frustrated people here. People are going for jobs that they don't mm. like. Yes. But they have to earn a living. They, have to, they need to pay land. They need to pay their bills. Yes. So you find that somebody just for a job because it is pays the, the bill, not because it is passion. Not because that he is motivated to wake up in the morning and go and go and do the job. So now this issue is being solved by the current uh, curriculum, the CBC, such that uh, you are able, uh, this, your strength and your talents are able to be determined very early, such that uh, by the time you are um, going to your, uh, to your to the job market, yes. you have passion for what you are doing, mm -hmm. and you are able to give your best. You are able to be productive. Yes. Otherwise, the the the, the current uh, um, uh, uh, people who are working in, in the market industry, as you speak, most of them do not like the job they are doing. And you said 60%, is it? Yes. That's a huge number. Huge number. Now they know. Gems, thank you very much for coming by, man. Always quite enlightening speaking to you. I appreciate it. Pretty much. You want to take him back to the time that he came in the studio, you can do that at Metropole TV across all your social media platforms. I'm at Kia Gessin, but let's take a short break. Once we come back, more business, this Business Monday. <laughs>